Hello there, <clears throat> welcome to another talk, a podcast, a meditation, and this one is called The Sons of God Are Those Men That Have Had Unexpected Spiritual Awakenings. Now I spoke about this in the last talk as well, the 144,000. <clears> now, if if you know David Icke, as David Icke said, spoke about the Godhead uh, in his interview with Terry Wogan in 1991, and I got too con, mist- you know, out of context. Uh, you know that he said he was the son of Jesus. I mean, it's only ad- exaggeration. He didn't say that. He didn't say he was the son of God. He was talking about the Godhead. Some people call it Source, God, whatever. And he was basically saying that we all come from that. You know? But uh, I just thought I would put that out there. But, you know, when I say God, I'm just meaning the source of all life. So in actual fact, we all are that. And that was what David Icke was trying to say in 1991. But yeah, the sons of God, we're all that. We're all sons and daughters of God. Of God. But uh, but the hundred and forty four thousand, you know, are the ones that have had the unexpected spiritual awakenings. But you know, in truth, actually, you know, you know, we're all so, that is true. You know, we're all sons and daughters of God. You know, we're all part of the same source. But, uh, the, yeah, the 144,000 that is prophesied is the ones that have had the unexpected spiritual awakening, men and women. Uh, now, I just had a thought just now. I thought, I wonder if animals are spiritually awakened. Well, I suppose they will. Because every creature is part of the same source. And, and, they're, and they're trying to evolve in their own right. It amazes me if you're in if you're ever in Scarborough. They they don't like the birds there, when the birds have just got every right to be there as much as them. You know. Every creature. I mean, how how do we know that we're the more that we're more intelligent than, than a bird or something? Because, you know, they have wings. We don't have wings. You know what I mean? So so already they've got more than us. But uh, but humans are very arrogant. You know, when you awaken more and more, you know, you start to become more humble. You know, uh, you start to become more forgiving. Now, anyone can do this. You can become a chosen one simply by choosing to awaken. Eventually, it won't be 144,000. It will be the whole planet. 144,000 is is the initial figure. But that 144,000 people that have had the spiritual awakenings are very powerful. They're very, very powerful. And then people will be the example of what to be to everyone else. You know, I had an unexpected spiritual awakening at the age of 24. I'm 34 this year, October the 22nd, and uh, I used to have crazy anxiety, suicidal thoughts, depression, haven't had any depression since the age of 28. So just almost six years and no anxiety, Uh, my personality is completely transformed into the opposite, almost like the opposite of what I used to be. And, you know, that's because of this awakening. You know, it is prophesied 144,000, but maybe those 144,000 people are just the type of people that will go within. And the rest aren't. And that's why they're, why they're, why they're maybe chosen. Because they've got that thing about them. A lot of people will just kill themselves. Or just carry on. You know, I mean, I have a mum that uh, 
has got all these illnesses and and stuff and and that you know is not what I want to become you know she's on dialysis and she's just not a very nice reality I wouldn't want that and I'm I'm her carer registered carer but when I think when I, my mum being that way that makes me not my, that makes me want to go on this path even more you know but I am every second of every day I'm on this path <clears throat> uh, meditating, going within, you know, ever since the awakening, mindfulness meditation, I do the most. But, uh, but yeah, the sons of God are those men that merely just choose to spiritually awaken. It's just a choice. You know, a person can change the course of their life or and their path whenever they choose. You know, it's all about choosing to go within yourself. <clears throat> choosing to go deep. You know, in this life, you, you, you've basically got two choices. Continue to be fooled. You know you're being fooled. Continue to be unhappy. Lie to yourself. Or start to be authentic. And, and start to go within yourself. Those are the two choices that a person's got and when you start being authentic you start to spiritually awaken when you start to listen to your heart you know the heart is the doorway to the source and that's all spiritual awakening is you know I know that I had a I believe I had a very karmic awakening a very rough awakening because of karma now, I try to give an awakening as I've went through it in a way that it's a nice awakening to other people or not as uh, extreme as I went through it or in a negative way. <clears throat> but yeah, the sons of God, you know, you know, you can simply awaken anytime you want. But in essence, you know, we're all sons of God. We're all daughters and sons of God. Ultimately... Also, deeper truth than that is is you are God. In an illusion that you're separate from God because everything has to come from the one nothing that is. Um, and therefore, that's one infinity. That means that you are the God. So it means we're all one. You see? During my spiritual awakening... I um I had one spiritual awakening in my path where it was like a oneness awakening where everything was becoming one. Imagine a huge ball or a planet and everything was becoming that. That's all I could see. And basically that's all I see now. But yeah, you know, we're all sons and daughters of God, but ultimately when you awaken further, you realize that you are the God. In a, sep in a separate illusory experience. And this is when you're awakening further. You see? Sometimes I just, you know, I do this all the time. I sit, I can sit for about an hour, two hours. Uh, no music on, like just now, just nothing. And that's where I get all my knowledge. I get my new awakenings then. Uh a lot of people can't do that. You know, that's the same thing Albert Einstein apparently did to get his information about scientific things he created. But, but yeah, you know, we're all sons and daughters of God. But ultimately, you, we're all the same God. We're all the same source. And you don't have to have an unexpected spiritual awakening. To be a son of God. It's basically just about you can cho you choose to have your awakening. I didn't know I was choosing to have my awakening when I had enough of everything, 24. But that's what I done. I chose to awaken. And so the chosen ones maybe are those people that the source feels <clears throat> are have got what it takes, or they they've got what it takes to awaken. 
you know, they're deep people or deep souls. You know, and you can choose to be that person right now. You got, the thing you got to ask yourself is, are you happy living the way you're living? Can you have a better life? And you can, but you first have to go within yourself. You first have to heal, you know, the stuff within you. And then you'll start to manifest a better reality. And you choose this by having the spiritual awakening. And you choose this, you have the awakening, sorry, by choosing to to be heart-based. And then you let, let that lead the way, and that's your higher self. Which is your God, your own personal God. And that is the pathway to connecting with Source. And that is a pathway to healing, ascension, awakening. All is within you. And I'm just going to leave it there. For latest updates, talks, news, research and much, much more, please do check my website at www.lovelightfamily.com.